Oh, I never, I don't think I've ever seen this. Ugh, these well. stairs need work, that's for sure. Hmm. Oh. What a waste of wine. Why is it so sticky though? Ugh. I Maybe it's not wine. Oh god. Come on, touch it. I dare you. Where the hell did you come from? And who the hell are you? Amy Lauren. Oh, Amy Lauren. Lovely Amy. Pretty Amy. Wait. Is she alive? Uh, I don't really know too much about her. What am I? Five years old? Oh, damn it. It's stuck under my shoe. I double dare you. Hell, I double dog dare you! Don't be such a scary cat! It's probably wine. What else could it be? Blood? Don't be ridiculous. Why would there be blood down here? this then Adventure then? A secret passage. There must be a hidden switch somewhere. Go look. This is the most interesting thing you've done by far. Hmm. Surprised? What's wrong? You? That, that's not possible. You're dead. Wait, she's dead? That can't be right. How is she dead, though? That's what I want to know. Aren't you happy to see a dear old friend, though? I'm hurt. I am. What the hell is going on here? I that's what I, that's what I want to know. Oh, isn't it obvious? I come back for you. Why are you smiling like that, though? Why are you smiling like that? Like what the fuck? So that we can be together again. Hmm. No! Leave me alone! Yeah, just go away. 
leave you alone, but I just got here. Oh, your hands. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't talking to you, just thinking aloud is all. You should really avoid talking to yourself, Kint. Do more of that and others will think you're insane. Yes, thank you. Is that all you're here for, or has your master sent you running down here for something? Oh, no, I am just down here to admire the place. I've not been inside before. I thought I would look around before we return to the city. The car is already running, you see, and I suggest you go back to the foyer, unless you wish to be left behind. It seems you are in good company already, after all, with this house and your imaginary friend. <laughs> I mean, look, I think out loud too, so there's nothing wrong with expressing your thoughts out loud, but then again, I, I wouldn't recommend being around a bunch of people when you do it. Wait, we're leaving already? But I haven't finished inspecting the rest of the house. Hmm, because I think out loud too. Be that as it may, there's a sulking man-child up there who wishes to go home. We are all subject to his whims, lest he throw a tantrum. And we wouldn't want any soiled knickers or spilled milk. Why don't you go head on, and I'll be right there. Very well. Do be careful on your way back. I saw some broken glass on the way, and it will not do to cut yourself on them. I will, yeah. Just tell Mr. Ride not to blow a gasket or anything. I'll be just a minute. Hmm. Never seen this place in dark. About time, what took you so long? Oh, wow. A minute longer and I'd think the house swallowed you all up. Oh, hush, dear. I'm sure she has her reasons. Marianne doesn't seem the sort to idle. Sorry, I was just checking on something important. See, business is business and they take time, love. You should know that better than anyone. So, Marianne, what do you think? Are you the woman for the job? Maybe. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I know we already signed papers hiring you, but I want to be 100% sure that you are committed. <laughs> it's certainly an interesting project. You can be sure I'm seeing it through the end. Such dedication! Oh, I do love the determination.
You were always determined like that, weren't you? Hmm. Oh no. Loran and Hannah. What the fuck? Poor pathetic Marianne. Work, work, work. Yo, what the fuck? She'll work herself to death. See? See, she doesn't listen. That's all she did. Look at what happened to me. Oh, shit. More's the pity. Life goes on and goes out, and she doesn't even see it. Do you think she'll even realize when she's kicked the bucket herself? Oh, damn. Likely. Is that any way to live at all? She might as well be dead. Cruel fate that she's alive and I'm... Well... Yo, what the fuck? Oh, this is so unsettling. Oh, Marianne! How long have you been standing there, dearie? Come join us, Marianne. We won't bite. No. Unless you ask, that is. No. Have you been looking at us? Spying. How scandalous. Such a naughty girl. I'm sure you were just waiting for something lewd to happen, weren't you? You knew she will not admit it. She thinks it wrong. You've said it so yourself. Yes. She thought me wrong, impure, abnormal, because I loved her. Gluttonous thoughts you try to deny, girl. All those desires you bury beneath that sickening guilt. You act the martyr when you turn the bed you lie in into your own hedonistic hell. You are nothing but a tainted soul with filth stained flesh held together by falsehood and pride. <gasps> That was disturbing. Good morning, Baruthio. Baruthio. Who's a good kitty? Are you hungry? Is that why you woke me up? Damn. I'll be leaving you again today, Beth. So you behave and make sure not to shred up my new covers, okay? And don't worry, I didn't forget tomorrow is Black Cat Day, so I'll throw you a party. But only if you behave like a proper lady. Hmm. <laughs> Mrs. Wright, I hope everything has been to your liking thus far. Good morning, Marianne. It has been delightful, and these men have been very helpful. Look at all this! It's so busy here, I'm getting tired just looking at them go. No complications so far with the movers or the previous owners of the mansion, I hope? If anything, the only one being problematic is Luke, if I'm to be honest. Mm. He can be such a diva, but I do like that about him. Hmm. You won't like about what he did. Oh, do be careful with 
with that mirror. We wouldn't want anyone getting hurt because of broken glass. Right. Why are you even having it carried around? Oh? Mm, you did say you didn't want the mirror, and I mm, keep getting distracted by it. If I'm going to turn the study into my office, I'd rather not have it there. Where can we put this? Well, you are not putting it in our room. Why don't you go, I don't know, put it in the wine cellar for now? We can figure out to forestore it in the attic or somewhere else later, yes? You heard her, boys. To the cellar it goes. Mush! Damn. Alright, I'm back. Oh, good. Whoa, shit. Okay. <laughs> Marianne, dear, have you had breakfast yet? Well, I do believe it would be considered brunch at this hour. Oh, yes, Mrs. Wright, I... I... You must join me. Johans has already been breaking in the kitchen, as they say. Hmm. I do not see the others settling down for a meal anytime soon. Someone might as well enjoy the food while it's hot. And that someone might as well be us. If you insist. Oh yeah, this whiskey. <laughs> I like how he's just. I like how she's just calling him whiskey. That's funny. I'd really like to thank you for inviting me to breakfast, Mrs. Wright. Oh yeah, this scene, this part. But I already ate, so I should really go back to work. Nonsense! You arrived so early. You must not have gotten a proper meal. Sit. Sit! I'd situate us in the dining hall, but it is a mess right now. Oh yeah, this is- yeah, I remember this. But no, really, how have you liked it so far? Oh, it has been wonderful, believe me. Everything is going smoothly, too. It has been a long time since I've worked on something in this grand a scale. Nowadays, everyone is about condos and flats, living in the city where every room is an identical box. Believe me, this is very refreshing. We lived in a condo before this, Marianne. Uh, I didn't mean any insult. I... It's fine, sweetie. Look at you, all frazzled. I was just pulling your leg. Luke wanted that penthouse when we got married, and you can thank him for purchasing this place as well. Don't be fooled. I'm just the treasury. I wouldn't be able to make a purchase this ground without his seal of approval. I see. That's it. That's all you have to say. But... 
I really don't know what to say, Mrs. Wright. We were talking of no topic in particular, and... Luke. We were talking about Luke. About him not eating breakfast with you? About him treating me as if I were some treasury! <laughs> oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> I won't speak a word, Mrs. Wright. Not only am I contractually obliged to, it would also go against my principles. This is no one else's business but your own, and it should be kept between the two of you. And whoever you wish to seek counsel from. Please, Marianne. You have to understand. These sort of affairs. If anyone were to know this, they could just twist it and we'll be ruined. All I ask for is your silence on the matter. Well, I'm keeping that information confidential as well. Thank you. Madam, the photographer from Luxury Living is here. This was a wonderful meal, Marianne. You're free to return to your duties. I must excuse myself. It was my pleasure. And thank you for the food as well. Kitchen. No kinder allowed. Little men running around with knives, especially. We do not want any accidents to happen now, do we? Good? Good. I hope I meet the age restriction, or at least the height restriction, because I'm asking to be let in here. You are allowed inside, McCulloch, but not the little ones. <laughs> That smells good. Want to wrap up some for me to go? If yes. there are any left, hmm. one can't go wrong with fish and chips. Everyone loves them. Even my husband. And he's American. Oh, interesting. Oh, dude. Whoa, no need to scream bloody murder. It's just me. Quiet down before you break glass. Don't do that again. Ever. What was with that reaction? Were you really scared? 
Has Johans been telling you ghost stories? He just loves to scare people. Isn't that right, Brother Gurium? I don't know, man. So, now that we're alone, Marianne, what are you so jumpy for? I was just thinking about all the urban legends the movers have been telling me about this place. I don't think there are any urban legends anymore. Don't tell me you believe in that tosh. Nothing but tales made up to scare children. I don't know, ma'am. Timmy, Billy, don't you dare go up to that big mansion and get in trouble there. The ghosts are going to get you. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at that, but I don't know, man. They're not rumors anymore. That's a boring way to look at it, but that's usually what it is anyway, no? Like I said, I was just thinking. If you could excuse the inane question, Mr. Wright, you haven't noticed anything weird here? Hmm. It depends on your definition of the word weird. Are we still on the topic of this place being haunted? Because no, things have not started to fly around and we have yet to require an exorcism. I don't think my head would like to do the whole 180 degree turn thing. Well, maybe that, but no strange people? Aside from my usually weird butler and all the weird men traipsing around touching my things? No, not really. Hmm. Why do you ask? Have you noticed anyone strange while you were here? Because you must report it to Johans and he'll have security handle it. But these reports better not be about ghosts and things that go bump in the night. I don't want to waste manpower on the boogeyman or senseless witch hunts. <laughs> yeah, you won't, you're gonna have to deal with that, man. I'll keep that in mind, Mr. Wright. But no, it's nothing like that. I guess the mansion is just strange for me. It's a unique project. No strange men or women looking about then? None that I know of, but I'll inform your hands immediately if something comes up. I'm serious, Mint. You see anything, anyone suspicious, and you report it immediately. Bro, relax. I think that goes without saying. So, is this a full time job for you then? No. I just freelance mostly. Uh, for oh. Magazines, newspapers, and events. So you can't really call it a full time job. It's fun and it puts food on the table, but it's not what I really want to do. And it's not all the time. There, whiskey. You're looking like you need a serious drink. Hmm. What is it that you have to do that? Film. Documentaries mostly. But cinematography is a lot more difficult than photography, right? I was working on the thing actually. I'm fine. Just a bit winded from all that moving about. It's been a long day. And the day's not over yet. So if you can excuse the bloodness. You either shape up to help, or ship out back to your room and let us do the rest of the work. Damn. It's 
not my place to say this, but she really does seem to care a lot about you, you know? Hmm. There's no need to remind me of that. Even though you treat her like garbage. Tell the workers that you're all dismissed early. That's nice and all, whiskey. But we really shouldn't just take off. Delays aren't a good thing when it comes to big projects like these. The sooner we tackle certain issues, the better. And I trust you can take care of these issues another day. Don't make me ask again, Mint. Just tell the others they can go home early. And to not worry, they'll still get paid the remaining hours. Fine. You're the boss. Oh! Well, it wasn't really a big thing. People didn't like Blue Fancy very much. People don't like a film about colors. I suppose they would have liked Blue Bibby a lot more. Hmm? And where are you off to in a hurry, Miss McCulloch? The foreman is looking for you. The Bratverse wants us off the clock. He's dismissing us early because of... Oh, I don't know. He just wants us out of here. I'll go and call a cab for you then. It would be for the best that you leave when he asks you to. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually pretty nice to see it dark. For something. Who's G? Give me a moment, will ya? I gotta go check on her. Need some. Wait. I'll be here. You go do that before she falls over. Asian Joe. <laughs> all right, all right. What is it? Do you need someone to help you get home? Bartender, pour the wine! Oh, good. Uh, I think that's enough alcohol for you, little missy. I'm cutting you off. Uh. Right now, where were we? How you holding up, boy? Same old, same old. I'm still on the Luxborn firm case. Those blokes they talk about being in dark suits, whisking people into the night or some shit and all that. Didn't the media call it some ridiculous name in the morning news? What is it this time? Wait, don't answer that. They've called it a lot of things. As long as people don't start running around claiming they're the Illuminati. <laughs> I mean... So, what have you got for me this time, G? Anything good? Slow down there. You haven't even told me what sort of deal in Dosh we got. Who are you looking into this time? Luke Wright. You know the guy. Oh, the, yeah. And don't pretend like you don't, G. It takes a special kind of ignorant not to know who he is. That smug blonde who likes throwing around his money. He was just here a few days ago, as a matter of fact. Oh. Great tipper. If you think him just dumping a water cash on the counter after having too much whiskey, Kansas tipping. Why are you asking? 
He dirty. <laughs> he's, he, I mean, he might as well be. You have no idea, G. He's probably the worst sort you can imagine. Yeah. Luke, fucking right. Fucking whiskey. Is this smart talk about Luke fucking right? I'm hearing it. Ah, for fuck's sake, man. Private conversation here, lady. Don't worry, Holmes. She's clean. And she might be able to help you with your... Uh, predicament. Of course. A drunk's just stumbled through here with what I need. Get real, G. No offense, lady, but you're smashed. I know, right? Nothing beats being drunk after a hard day's work. Oh, God. Especially when you're working for Mr. Luke Wright. Oh, fuck. So, she works for the guy? Doesn't that make her, I don't know, suspect? See, you have a little faith in me, why don't you? I don't have much, and you might as well have something to go off. You're the one who was so desperate to come running to me for business. Yoo-hoo! Still right here, fellas! Five feet eleven! Can't miss me! <laughs> Unlike Shorty over here. Shorty? What's with that mad look? You want to dance, boy? You don't look like you can bust a groove. Maybe a leg, but with that fancy coat of yours. <laughs> Don't yeah. try me. You can hardly stay on your feet. We don't want to ruin your fancy coat, do we? Ah, oh, children, the both of you. But you're still standing after all that, are you? Matt, you see this giantess? She's a legendary regular here. Been drinking like there's no tomorrow. I'm a bit jealous. Can't do that anymore or my liver will give out on me. Good with the mic, too. Don't see you much recently, but I guess you're always busy, are you? You're some fancy designer or something, if I remember correctly. Wait, I know you. You were at the open house for the mansion. Yeah, that's right. Marianne McAuliffe. I'm a famous interior designer extraordinaire. Ooh, that rhymes. Anyway, you guys were talking about that weenie Luke Wright, right? Or something. I can't really talk about it. I don't even know if I can trust you. Even if G said you're clean. But anything would be of help. Well, I don't gossip about my clients, if that's all there is to this. You wanted to gossip about him a few minutes ago, Marianne. And that was the beer talking. Not Marianne. You won't mind if we ask the beer a few questions then? Yeah. Maybe. Depends on who's asking and what they're asking. How dare that sleazy wanker treat me like I'm a piece of furniture? And by a wanker, you mean Luke Wright. Yes, Luke Wright. I just said that. It's Coltona Crohante. What? Completely different from his pretty wife. And Annie? Han? Hannah? Hannah. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if he's doing something dirty behind her back. Even bought him a mansion. Lucky bastard. So it was the wife who bought the place. Are you going to repeat everything I say? Yes, it was the pretty one. The one with the long hair. She bought the place. Sort of. With how drunk you are, I don't even know if you're aware or sure of what you're saying. Excuse you? I am at least 350,000% sure that I know what I am saying. Are you sure? I am a professional. I'm totally sure of what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Do you think just because I'm drunk I don't remember facts? I remember everything. I remember every little thing as if it only happened yesterday. I bet you don't remember young, young McGurn's full name. Of course you don't. Here we go! John William, pure mad, mental into your body, Simpson Clay, Gimbal Chip, the Bam, Rib Racker, no real young rebel, your best saint, John McGurn! See? I have a photo. F 
photographic memory. Or read <laughs> memory. <laughs> I don't remember which is which. Back to the wanker. Nothing off about him or anything? Nothing shady that sets the alarm bells in your head? Aside from being a sleazy piece of shit, he did get all in a tizzy whenever something about security came up. Makes sense. I don't blame the guy. Place that big, you'll need a couple dozen people stationed around if you want to make sure nobody you don't want gets in. And the guy seems like the type that doesn't like too many people. Oh, but he does like the ladies. I don't think his mommy hugged him enough or anything. <laughs> Damn, that's one way to put it. These are serious questions, Marianne. Lives might just be at stake here. Yeah, just just take it. Just be serious. What you expect? She's smashed. Why am I even doing this? This is getting me nowhere, G. She's not a reliable source. The chief, let alone the courts, aren't going to take the word of a drunk. This will be dismissed, and I might be in trouble if they try to argue that I coerced a testimony out of her. This is a fucking train wreck. You're a fucking train wreck now, if you ask me. Maybe it's about time you apply the brakes and stop for a bit. Mm. You know that's not an option. Thanks for being patient, McCullough. Good luck with your work on that mansion. Speaking of that mansion, there's something going on in that place. Something, something. As och day! No wonder Mr. Wright likes it so much! It's as fishy as he is, rotten bloke. Maybe that Santos girl is really onto something, eh? Suspicious shite, I'm telling you. Explains why she's so reluctant. Isabella? What do you mean that Santos girl is onto something? She's talking about Isabella, dude. Take your hands off me, pipsqueak. I'm not a lady who's shaken or stirred unless you want me up chucking on your pretty hair. Pipsqueak. But it's just like I said. Are you sure you aren't brain damaged or deaf? Santos girl from VRC showed us this creepy letter. You know, just like those spam stuff you get in your emails. Now I remember. And we thought it was some joke or that the girl was just a bit too green to handle a big sale like that. You should have seen the look on their faces when they saw it. Whiskey, that's Luke fucking right, you get me. And the missus didn't look too happy either. I should have taken a picture and posted it everywhere. When rich snobs give you that face, no wonder the Santos girl went all mental on us. Working with them does that, you know? I think I'm about to. I'm not mental yet, am I? No, but you're drunk. Hey, I'm right. drunk. Just like I said, in that man... Hey, you okay? <laughs> Holmes? You're looking a bit shaky yourself there. Ashton Frey. <laughs> you're cute, pretty boy. But I prefer blondies. Sure you do. Well, you're not exactly my type either, lady. But listen to me. If something comes up, don't do anything rash. If you think you're in danger or if you see anything suspicious, call me and the authorities as soon as possible. You understand me? That's 999. I know what the damn emergency number is. Right, 999. Good. Anyway, I have to run. See you, G. Wow. Oi, what about your drink, boy? I'll go put it on your tab then. Holmes boy always like that, G? Uh, pretty much. But what about you? I suppose I'll put your drinks on your tab too. Don't want you to spill your wallets when you look like you're close to spilling yourself. Yeah, and if it's fine by you, I think I'll go take a bit of a cat nap here. Just for a sec or two. Uh, go right ahead. I'll wake you when I close up shop. Okay.